Okay, so in this video, I will teach you how to set up your Namecheap domain with Cloudways. So the first thing you need is the IP address of your server in Cloudways. So whatever site you have set up, you need to find that IP address. And how you do that is by clicking applications and click on the application that you want. So this is the demo server site, demo site for the apps, and the IP address is right here. All you need to do is click on it and it will be copied to your clipboard. So next, you need to log into Namecheap. Find your domain, click on it, and then click on Advanced DNS. So this is what it looks like. And this little area right here is where the magic happens. So the first thing we need to do is create a record a record the host is at and then put the IP address and you can leave the TTL automatic save that so what this means is the at sign represents just the base domain name or really just the domain name balikbayanlife.com that's the example here um, there's no www or anything like that. No subdomains. This is just the, the bare domain. That's what the at stands for. So when you just type in balikbayanlife.com, it will point into this IP address. Next, since a lot of people like to use the www, we need to get that set up. So you need to create a CNAME record. We actually have that here. By default, it's pointing to a parked domain from Namecheap. So you can simply just go ahead and edit this. Balikbayanlife.com, period. So whenever they type www.balikbayanlife.com, it's going to direct them to balikbayanlife.com, basically. And I like to put this for automatic, save it. And there you have it. You have the balikbayanlife.com set up and you have the www.balikbayanlife.com. Now, for example, you wanted to add another DNA, uh, another subdomain. So let's just say demo, a demo subdomain. So you create another C name record, put demo for the host, and then you also target to wherever you want to target it to. But in this video, we'll, we'll target it to balikbayanlife.com. And make sure you put a period at the end, but it should automatically add that period anyways. So if you type in demo.balikbayanlife.com, it's going to direct you to balikbayanlife.com. So now that's all saved, let's go test these sites out. So let's try the www first. www.balikbayanlife.com. Enter. That seems to work. Let's try demo.balikbayanlife.com. That works. And then let's also try just the, the base domain, balikbayanlife.com. It all works. So there you have it. That's a setup. I would probably just delete this here. I don't think that's important. Or you can leave it. It seems to be just fine leaving it, but we would just delete that. That's just a default thing they got there. I'm not really sure what that does so this is what it looks like though you want the www set up with a c name record pointing to balikbayanlife.com you got the a record with the at sign pointing to the ip address so this at sign basically means balikbayanlife.com okay and then demo 
things. So you can also add some other subdomains, whatever subdomain you want, you can point it to, to where, wherever. So now let's talk about the SSL certificate. Now that the uh, domain is set up, this is how you set up the SSL certificate with Cloudways. You need an email address. Let's just pretend admin at balikbuyandlife.com. So domain name, balikbuyandlife.com. Make sure to also add the subdomains with the www.balik. And in this example, we also made the subdomain for demo. So if you if you're using whatever subdomain you're using, especially if it's when you're actually using like actively, not just a demo thing, then you want to add that on here too. So we we have the demo dot So that's all in here. Click install certificate. It should take about I don't know maybe a minute or two. So while this is installing and loading and everything, I just want to emphasize the fact that setting up an SSL certificate manually can be very time consuming and confusing, which is why I love using Cloudways because they make it super easy compared to doing it manually it's just adding the email the domains and click and waiting until it's done installing and there you have it so this should take maybe another 30 seconds so let's just oh there it is it's all done now there you have it setting up your name cheek domain and your SSL certificate.